Hey, thanks for your time, King. We appreciate it, buddy. Mm. Hey, give us an idea what you're working on this spring, what you want to improve at. Um, I've just been working on um, the little things, like bursting through the line of scrimmage, um, winning at the third level, um, looking back on film. That was like a lot of things I didn't do well last year, and I want to improve on that. And then it, you missed the first couple games. That was a hamstring issue. Is that right? And then you're and you're healthy right now, feeling good. All right. And then uh, as, as far as uh, as far as the, the room goes, King, just, just talk about your role in the running back room. You've been on campus a couple of years now. Sort of give us an idea of maybe the, the leadership role you're playing there. Um, you know, some young guys come in, you know, need help with the playbook. I help them with that in any way I can. Because our playbook um, is really hard to learn, but once you get it down, you get a good understanding of it. So just being there for them and just helping them with the playbook and anything else they need help with, um, getting comfortable in our system. How's the offensive line been looking? They're looking great. They've been working. Any uh, any impressions of uh, Dylan Downing, uh, the UNLV transfer? We like him. He's been practicing hard. He worked hard all offseason. He was we was competing with each other all offseason, you know, getting each other better. But I like him. He's a good kid. He's really smart, too. Good dude. And how about your hands? Uh, I, I've been doing much work as a pass catcher out of the backfield. We throw the ball quite a bit, so just getting on the jugs and making sure I'm ready um, when the ball comes my way to um, complete the catch. How frustrating was last year for you, again, not getting to play early on and having the season just cut to six games? Uh, you know, right now we're going through vigorous moments. Um, but it, it is pretty frustrating. Um, our game's getting cut down due to COVID because, you know, we just want to get that, get out there and play and even not having fans in the stands. But it doesn't make an effect. We're still going to play anyways. But, you know, just um, just um, handling the situations right and just doing what we got to do. How do you and Xander complement each other? Um, you know, I have I'm good at some things that he's not. He's good at some things that I'm not, and that's that's what the whole room too. We all have different skill sets and different talents in some areas, and we just learn from each other. I ask him questions about things, and he asks me questions about things, and even with the rest of the guys in the room. And then how's 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 Dejan Hugh been looking in your eyes? Looking really good. Um, he, he's a hard worker. He worked hard all off season as well. We all just compete with each other, trying to get each other better. He's a hard worker, and he's a really hard runner. Thank you, King. Hey, Tom. Uh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, King, how do, um, is, there, is there a big emphasis this spring just on short yardage situations, and how do you guys go about Im improving that area of the, of the run game? Yeah, looking back on film, that was an area we needed to do better. Um, those 31s, 32s, we got to hone in on that and make sure we complete those. So we've just been putting a bigger emphasis in those 32s. We gotta make sure we get it. When you look back on film, where, where were the issues at in uh, those know, situations? Me personally, just winning at the third level and just bursting through the line of scrimmage. Was there just too much hesitation going on, or not attacking the line as well as you guys should have? Yeah. Just bursting through the front. Um. And just overall with the run game, I mean, the, the, the run game has not been as productive, as, I think, as everybody wants it to be. Just the steps to, to take that to a new level this year. What, what pieces do you think are in place for that to happen? Um, we're putting a big, uh, a lot of pressure on ourselves to make sure we run harder, run smarter. And like, like I said, bursting through the line of scrimmage, winning at the third levels um, and the advantage of the opportunities you get. But I, really, I feel like we're going to take this run game to another level. Just how did you personally deal with COVID last year and just the, the stress of it and just, you know, what things couldn't you do because of, uh, because of COVID? You had to, you know, probably stay in your apartment longer than what you wanted to. Yeah, you know, like after workouts and stuff, we just had to go home, can't um, do a lot of things that we're accustomed to as college students, you know. But, yeah, it's following the policy really so we can keep working out and so we can't get shut down. But was it was it a stressful period just to to kind of keep going every day and get tested every day? Uh, yeah, it was, but I feel like it was worth it, and it was even stressful not having not playing in front of a crowd. That we do, but we adjusted to it well. 
Did you get used to the cardboard cutouts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Thank you.